Okay, so hello everyone. Nice to see you all again. Uh, those of you that are watching, it is March 17th and it's been a month or two since I've done any videos at all. Um, after the whole, uh, you know, rebase DAO stuff exploded, I thought, you know what, it's, it's not smart for me to even be talking about this. I know none of this is financial advice, but people were still following it anyway. And, you know, I was getting a lot of questions about um, which DAO to move my money into. And I, I, I told every single one of you, don't, don't just don't. Um, you know, there are there were too many unknowns at the time. Um, I personally have pulled out of everything but one. Um, I'm still, as, as you all know, I'm still diehard on Galaxy Goggle. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm even with the board on that one. Um, so I'm just going to let it sit and see what happens. Uh, the team is doing some really cool stuff behind the scenes. Uh, I've been in contact with a lot of people that are in the know there now. Uh, things have died down. That used to be a server that would get, you know, thousands of, of, uh, of texts a, a minute. And it's, it's settled down considerably now. Um, still love that family. Still love that team. Um, still want that project to succeed. They're going to do great things. But that's the only one I'm left in. Um, I'm left in that. I'm left in Thor uh, for whatever that's worth. And I've moved on. And what I moved on to is NFTs. And I, I did a lot of research and a lot of um, time looking into NFTs and kind of what makes certain projects successful and what makes certain projects a dud and which ones, you know, to stay away from and which ones to jump into. Um, it, it's a learning experience and it's not unlike uh, investing in anything, uh, but there's a art component to this. There's a tokenomics component to this in some cases. There's utility in a lot of cases. So what I want to do is break down projects that I like. Um, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling you that this is going to be the next big thing. This is not. Um, I'm not going to throw shade. Uh, it is really easy to throw shade in this current era of everybody and their mother minting an NFT project. Um, I, I'm not here for that. Uh, I don't want to, you know, crap on someone else's project. Um, you know, I've, I'm on a chat room with some friends and, you know, we'll do that on occasion, but it's not fair to do that publicly. So what I'm going to do now is show you projects that I'm in that I think are pretty cool. And um, that's it. So, you know, take this as alpha, take this as um, part of the research that you do. But uh, I'm going to link to the link trees for all of the projects that I do in the descriptions. Um, I'm going to leave a link to where you can find me if you want to ask me questions directly. Obviously, I'm in over 100 Discord servers, and it's, it's tough to send me a direct message um, just because I don't know what's real and what's a bot. So I'll leave a description to where you can find me, where my DMs are open, and <clears throat> ask questions. Uh, you know, I've got a Discord server, and we set it up for a different reason, but there's a other projects um, uh, room in there, and you can go in there and just, you know, tag me, and we'll, we'll chat about whatever project I'm doing a video on. Um, today we're going to talk about maybe my biggest surprise in all of NFTs. And that is the Grandpa Ape Country Club. Now I know what you're thinking. There are a ton of Board Ape Yacht Club ripoffs uh, out there, where they just change the colors, or they change, you know, the direction that they're looking. The the backwards ape club. You know, a lot of that is really lame. Um, the Grandpa Ape Country Club is an homage, if you will. Um, it really surprised me. I, I got into this because I thought it was funny and they were cheap at the time. And when I got into Grandpa Apes, I did a video on this with, uh, with A from Klee uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, I think back in January we did a video and I mentioned it and he kind of laughed at it. I thought they were hilarious. So I bought three. I think I spent point, uh, one six ETH each on them. So at the time, around 350 bucks. So we'll show you where, where that's headed right now. But uh, what has surprised me about the Grandpa Ape Country Club is the community 
it's really cool. Um, take a look. Uh, so I've got their Discord up here on the left. I've got their website up on the right. Their website is exactly like Board Apes, um, you know, in, in, in a number of ways. And I think that's funny. Uh, but they're, it's basically, think of if your Board Ape retired uh, after uh, 60 years of hard work, and wanted to hang out at a country club instead of a yacht club. Um, that's what the that's what the grandpa apes are. Uh, if you want to look at mine, here are the ones that I have. So I have grandpa ape number two two nine two. This guy now a lot of the traits that they have are similar to board ape traits, and that's on purpose. But the art is completely new. It's this is all sketched directly by the artist for. Uh, the Grandpa Ape Country Club. Um, they did take some of the traits. There are a ton of traits that don't exist in the Board Ape Yacht Club that you'll find on the Grandpa Ape uh, Country Club. Um, so this guy is my is my robot. Uh, this guy here is, I think, this is my favorite grandpa. Um, he's kind of a floor model, but he's just, he's just had a rough life. Like, he's done. This guy doesn't care anymore. He just wants to watch his shows watch his stories, read a book, get lunch with his friends, maybe plays poker, uh, you know, a couple couple days a week with his buddies. Um, let me uh, go here. Oops, that was a 404 page. Uh, this is my this is my recent purchase. Uh, this guy's got an earplug in because he doesn't want to hear your shit. Um, he's got his bucket hat, he's got half a smile, and he's got his 3D glasses with his button-up cardigan sweater. Um, I, I just think these are hilarious. Uh, the community, you get access uh, as a member to over here, a member's lounge. There are different levels here. So there's the holder's lounge, and then uh, that's here. There's a step up from that if you hold five. There's a step up from that if you hold 10. So uh, I, there's a cigar lounge, I think, is next. And then the, there's the diamond lounge. The VIP lounge, I think, is for 10, or maybe it's 10 and 15. Anyway, there are there are levels to to this. and uh, But just hanging out on the greens is a lot of fun. Um, there's a great, great group of people in here, a great community. Um, they're they're doing, their, doing their thing and just rocking out all day long. There's always somebody to talk to. Um, they're talking about how much fun they're having with this. You'll see a lot of fan art, um, like this going on here right now. That's Reptile getting Scorpion with Grandpa Ape um, heads on. Uh, currently, there's an issue with OpenSea uh, where it's only showing these five grandpas. And this is the only one for sale, and he's 17 ETH. So it currently shows the floor price at 17 ETH. Uh, that's not true, but remember when I told you, like, I bought these guys back here. So let me look at what I spent for this guy here. Grandpa Ape, $4.95. Uh, I paid uh, $0.245 for this guy two months ago. Um, let's take a look at what I spent on this guy yesterday. So I paid $0.245. I paid 0.98 for him. So I paid about one ETH for him. So it's forexed for me in the two months that I've held the Grandpa Apes. Uh, I want to say this guy here, yeah, I paid a quarter ETH for him. Uh, the floor on the robots is closer to 1.5 right now. Um, if you go to the activity, uh, look at this chart. It's just creeping up. And most of the sales are over what you would consider the floor. There's 3.39, uh, 1 1.2, 0.868. Uh, that's that's about the about the actual floor price right now. Uh, I looked at this guy. I almost picked him up yesterday. I like the white and I like the tie dye. Um, somebody's got him for sale right now for 2.27. Um, so the floor on these is steadily climbing, and the sales are all supporting about a one ETH floor. Uh, now this spiked up and then dropped down and then spiked back up again right about here when our average price was 1.4 ETH uh, they did a serum drop because coming soon our you guessed it mutant grandpa ape 
Country Club. Uh, so they did a, just like Bored Ape did way back when, uh, for the Mutant Ape Yacht Club, uh, they did an M1 uh, serum, an M2 serum, and there was an M3 Mega serum that I think only like 15 people got. Now let's talk about the size of the collection. There are only 5,000 um, Grandpa Apes that were out there that were minted originally. So they weren't like a one-for-one -one copy of the Bored Apes. Um, the, they only did 5,000. The mutants are going to be 10,000. So every Grandpa Ape holder got airdropped a serum. So my serum, I, I ended up with two of the M2 serum, which are currently have a floor price of one ETH. Um, so I got airdropped two of these. If you look, it says you own two. Uh, I got airdropped two of these because I was holding two apes at the time. I got an offer. I, I, I didn't realize they were doing the mutant serum at all. And I got a one ETH offer for one of my grandpas on OpenSea. And I was like, hey, I think I paid a you know 0.18 or 0.2 for that particular grandpa. So I just, I took it. I took the ETH. Um, then the next day I realized I should have looked at Discord first and saw that the serums were getting dropped so i held floor went all the way up to like 1.2 and then they did the snapshot serum airdrop to everybody then the floor dropped a little bit as people were getting rid of them um and uh but this serum the m2 serum a bunch of these sold for two eth so there was a moment in time there where i was sitting on twelve thousand dollars worth of serum that i had just gotten for free uh they haven't opened up yet the uh, uh, the mutation that's coming soon. So if you look at their roadmap, um, that's going to happen. If you look down here, there's a couple of things that are going to happen. So first, um, if you want a mutant ape, a mutant grandpa, uh, get on the Discord server and start hanging out. It's a fun crowd, and they're giving away mint list spots. Um, they're calling it a white list. I don't like using that term, but it's it's their their uh, their mint list to be able to mint, um, they're doing five, they're doing a 10,000 run on the, on the mutants. So there's only 5,000 grandpas. We all have a serum to go to 5,000, um, mutant grandpas, and then there's still 5,000 left. So they've got a mint list and then they're going to allow 2,500 to be minted. And then another 2,500 are going to be public sale. And then after the mint list and after the public sale, then they're going to allow the uh, holders to mutate their grandpas. So the serums are even going off the chain right now. So my M2 serum is worth one ETH right now. Um, the You're looking at 0.3 ETH-ish for the M1 serum. And if you look here, it shows you kind of like this is what an M1 serum will do. To this grandpa here's what an m2 serum will do to this grandpa um and then the other interesting thing is there's this mega that i think there's like 15 or 25 the floor price the current price on that's you know 30 30 eth um and there have been sales uh there was a sale for 20 eth uh 10 days ago there was a sale for 17 eth there was a sale for 12 and a half eight those guys got off cheap uh, a bunch of people transferred them from one wallet to another, uh, but there weren't many of these. Um, so that's, you know, that's pretty cool to see what those are going to do. Um, he here's my prediction. There are a lot of board Ape guys finding their grandpas because there are a number that do line up where you'll see like blue fur and an earring and then you'll see blue fur and an earring and they, they line up, and so there are people that were collecting both, so that they had, you know, the web two me versus the web three me, um, or the, you know, how it is, how it started, how it's going pictures, you'd see a lot of grandpa apes pop up on those. It's just a neat project. Um, it's one I'm in long term, I could see this getting to a point where it's a 10, 15 ETH, uh, you know, project in and of itself, uh, right now on looks rare is where you can find them. Um, there's a problem with OpenSea at the minute where they changed the creator uh, from 
the contract creator to the Grandpa Ape Country Club and it messed OpenSea up. OpenSea's working on it. Um, there's still plenty that are for sale on OpenSea. They're obviously selling. You, you just saw the activity log. And then also here we have, uh, we have Looks Rare where you can look and see the activity. Uh, let's look at sales. Um, two hours ago, two hours ago, three hours ago, five hours ago, six hours ago. So there's, let's look in 24 hours uh, down to one day. There were probably, I don't know, what's that, 25 that sold yesterday? So there's still plenty, you know, transferring on looks rare, even without OpenSea. And they're going at or above the floor. Like this one's 75% above floor, 37% above floor, uh, four, five, 25% above floor, 253% above floor. There are a lot of above floor sales. What's happening right now because of this open sea issue is people are finding the rare ones and then making offers through open sea or finding and making offers through looks rare to the people that don't realize that there's an issue right now and they're snapping up the gems. They're snapping up the rare ones uh, to hold long term. There's one guy on here whose wallet, he's got over a hundred in uh, this guy here, Gino, he's in the Century Club. Uh, he's got over a hundred uh, grandpa apes. <laughs> so he's sitting on a pile of pile of grandpas. Uh, he's got his own, he could start his own country club actually. Um, anyway, it's a super cool project. Um, I really like it. I think the art is, is pretty dope. Um, I think the trajectory of the price action is really favorable. Um, I see this as one of those that could be absolutely huge and come out of nowhere. It could stay here forever. It could go down. Do your own research. Have your own fun. But with NFTs, it's all about the community. And that's what I look for more than anything. And that's the same thing that I told everybody that watched a Mr. Doug Explains video in the past is I look at the community first. So, you know, a lot of these super hype communities and then it mints and then it's crickets. And uh, so what I look for is the ones that still have a, a community that's that's bouncing. Um, you look here, these are all projects I'm in. Uh, if you look at my, let's look at my profile right now on OpenSea. I'm in all of these projects <clears throat> and I'm in some of them a little, a little heavier than others. Uh, so I'm in probably call it 35, 40 different projects right now. Um, some of them, you know, are complete garbage. Some of them have real potential and I'll talk about those in, in future ones as well. Uh, I'm going to be talking about meta angels in an upcoming one. This is one that I love. Um, uh, rain boy is a, is a cool project. Dented fields. I like a lot. Uh, women tribe. I like Illuminati. I love, uh, I'm in really deep on Illuminati. Uh, um, Dead Army Skull, Skeleton Club, that's that's one that's, I think, really cool. Uh, a lot of cool projects to talk about. And so that's kind of what I'm going to shift Mr. Doug Explains to, is more to talk about NFT projects that I think might have good potential um, long term. And there are so many projects. I, I will have unlimited content. Um, you know, that was one of the problems with Mr. Doug Explains when I was doing Rebase DAOs, is there were only so many, and there were so many rugs. And there were so many that I, that I had conviction about, or, or so few that I had conviction about, that it, it made it really difficult for me to want to make content because I didn't want to steer people down a path where they could end up upside down. So I hope, um, I hope everybody got out of, you know, or got their money out of rebase styles. Um, you know, I, I ran my plan and I took all my money out. So I am even with the board and everything I've got left in the you know, project or two that I'm in is all profit for me and I hope they do well. Um, I hope you all do well. I hope everybody understood that this was all gambling and this is still all gambling. This isn't sophisticated investing. We're talking about pictures of gorillas as, uh, as a, that have a monetary value. Like this is not a blue chip investment. Um, so don't do this stuff if, if you're looking to, like you're <laughs> trying to find money to pay rent or you know, need to get your car fixed. Don't invest in pictures of apes. Um, invest in your car. Invest in, you know, things that you know will likely appreciate or things that you actually need. 
Um, if you need help uh, or have any questions, uh, you can find me on the Miss Smith Robots Discord. I will link to that in the description below. Um, you can tag me in other projects and we'll talk about any of the projects that I've talked about here. Um, I will do a video in time on Misfit Robots. It's a NFT project that I'm doing that I will um, be happy to share more about after we have, you know, a lot more to share. Um, but it's a passion project of mine. It has nothing to do with like hype and making a bunch of money and wag me and all this stuff. It's, it's, it's something that's near and dear to my heart. That's for a different video. We're talking about Grandpa Ape Country Club right now. I love this project. I think it's a lot of fun. I cannot wait to see what they have up in store. They're going to be grandma apes. There's going to be kittens. Come on. Who doesn't love a project that has kittens? Um, and it's a, it's, a fun, it's a fun project. So check out Grandpa Ape Country Club. Uh, their Discord will be, or their, I'm just going to link their link tree in the description below. You can find their Discord. You can find their, uh, their Twitter. They do spaces a couple times a week. They have a Wag Me Wednesday, or Wag Me Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. It was a lot of fun last night. There were over 100 people in there, all with their grandpas as their avatars. They have their own rap. It was like not a bad rap either. It was really good. Surprised the shit out of me when I heard that. Uh, I thought it was just coincidental that th there was this rap talking about mutations and kittens and grandpas. And then he started talking about the Grandpa Ape Country Club, and it was <laughs> really funny. Um, so love the community. And again, that's what you should always be buying an, an NFT for is the community. Because if the art goes to zero, but you still love the community, then it still holds value for you. So that's the thing to look for in all of these. Um, find a project that resonates with you. Find a community that resonates with you and stick with it. And you'll never feel like you lost anything. Um, this is not financial advice. This is life advice. So if you're, if you're going to invest in an NFT, invest in the community, not the actual artwork and not because you think you're going to make a bunch of money down the road. Maybe that happens. Maybe it doesn't, but if you're investing in the community, you'll never go wrong. So that's my soapbox for today. Uh, I'm going to start doing videos more often because there are a ton of NFT projects and a ton that I really like. And, um, I hope you like the new format and stick with me. Um, so until next time, which could be in a few days, it could be next week, but I will try to do it more often. Um, link in the description below to where you can find me and we can chat. So thank you very much.